Hello everyone, in this series of videos we are looking at different labs that you need, you should be doing for AZ-104 Microsoft Administrator Examination and these labs are available in the GitHub and I'll give you the link. In the last lab we started working on lab 03b Manage Azure Resources by using the ARM template. We have reviewed the ARM template for deployment of Azure Managed Disk. We have completed this task 1. We went to the resource group and pretty much clicked on the deployment blade and reviewed the deployment and we have downloaded our deployment for the managed disk and saved to our local file. In this video, we're going to start the task two, which is create an Azure managed disk by using an ARM template. So in the Azure portal, you go and search and uh, do this template deployment. So let's go to Azure portal and in the Azure portal let's search for template deployment let's see if there is anything coming up deploy custom templates probably the closest that I can find deploy using custom templates on the custom templates play click build your own template in the editor okay so let's come here and then here is that a link build your own templates in the editor so click on that one on the edit template bin click load file and upload the template file you downloaded in the previous step so here I can do load file and um, go over here export a template Microsoft manage disk and the template file that I wanted to upload is right over here And within the editor mode, uh, they're asking us to remove these lines. So source resource ID type string. Let's see where are the source resource IDs. Source resource ID. So we're gonna remove that. Uh, URI. We're gonna remove that. OS type. We're gonna remove that. So this, this, this they're asking us to remove so let's get rid of them and once I'm done with that I also need to remove the Hyper-V generation let's see where is my Hyper-V generation Hyper-V generation and string so this section needs to be gone and OS type needs to be gone as well the waste type I think it's part it's over here and since you're deleting waste type, you gotta get rid of the trailing comma alright so now the template looks good uh, and there's a note since parameters are removed since they're not applicable to the current deployment uh, in particular resource ID source URI OS type and hyper generation parameters are applicable to creating an Azure disk from an existing VHD file. Okay, so for your case, it is not uh, needed. Uh, we have also done this step. So now save the changes. So let's go back and make sure that you're hitting the save button. So that saves your template and it brings you to this window automatically. Um, on the edit parameter, blade, click load file, uh, upload the parameters file so I'm not sure edit temp edit parameter so I can go over there again over here I can load file and we'll load the uh, parameters just JSON this time okay uh, back on the custom deployment blade specify the following setting so and then custom dip uh, uh, cancel save this uh, custom deployment blade uh, now they're asking us to do some subscription whatever subscription you have resource group let's use this resource group that they are specifying so resource group and I'm gonna put this up oh, no sorry that's under subscription here Right, let's take a look at it. AZ10403B RG1, AZ10403RG1. So select that one. Uh, setting 
AZ10403 bit disk 1, AZ10403, they are asking us to use 03B, so let's change the disk name to 03B. Location default value is good, SKU standard LR, LRS, it's, it was premium, so let's change that to standard disk size, let's change that to 32. Then create option is empty. Disk encryption, they have not specified anything. And then select the checkbox, I agree to the terms and condition and click purchase. So select agree to terms and condition and, and click on purchase. So now if you look at the deployment and the notification, deployment is in progress and in a couple minutes we'll have a new disk available to us. So here we can now go to the resource resource group and this resource group should show us that it, it may take just just couple minutes to for the resource to get populated in here so don't, don't get to discourage if you don't see it uh, in a minute okay there we go so in this resource group I have this particular disk that we have now created using a template and uh, if you look at the resource group you can see that it's the 32 gig HDD standard HD that we have just created all right so that was the end of this lab and since the third section is so small I'm just gonna cover it in this lab usually I'm, I've been trying to create different videos for the different tasks because some of the tasks are really long uh, here we're going to review the ARM template based deployment of the managed disk. So again, go to the resource group and uh, click at that particular resource group. And again, we're going to go back to the deployment. So we're at the right spot already. So there is the resource group, and here is my deployment blade. And looks like I have two different deployments uh, uh, templates available in here. Click the first entry and uh, look at the template. So you, now you can look at this template that we have modified some few stuff. Uh, sorry, so you, you cannot click on that one. So that's another thing I want to uh, caution you. So if you look at the template, you gotta click and select the template and here click on the view template, All right? So this is the modified version of the template that we have used. Um, and uh, if you look at the parameters, this one is probably has the standard LRS and 32 gigs. So now if you can do the same thing, you can uh, deploy this again, you can download it and save it and reuse it for your further disk deployments. All right, let's go back to the lab one more time. Clean up, do not delete resources deployed in this lab. You will reference them in the next lab of this module. So I'm not gonna delete anything. Uh, just to recap, we have reviewed the ARM templates for deployment. So most of the time, if you look, you're looking for the deployment templates. You they are really available under the resource group. Uh, under the resource group, you have a deployment blade, and that blade will have all the deployments, and you can review it and you can download those files. So this could be an exam question, possibly the where to find your deployment templates. So that's what should be your kind of uh, answer. That's what they're trying to ask that you know that all the deployments that are available under the resource group. Uh, we have created uh, a Azure resource using a, using an ARM template this time in, uh, in the previous video and uh, in, in this video actually and uh, we looked at the ARM template and, and understood uh, how to make any kind of sense out of it. Uh, that's all that I wanted to cover in this lab. So thank you for watching if you like it please give me a like uh, subscribe and share with friends and good luck with the exam